ECT is the abbreviation for electroconvulsive treatment. The uh, person is given a muscle paralyzing agent, which in fact are terrifying experiences because uh, a person can be awake and incapable of moving. They give you a fierce jolt of electricity, so much so as to cause a generalized seizure. You have to apply enough electricity to overcome the resistance of the skin and the skull. The patient is given a, a, a shock of 400 volts. Ordinary house wiring is 110 volts. So you can imagine four times that going through the patient, creating what is called a convulsion. And then it takes hours or days for you to regain your basic orientation, who you are, where you are, what date it is, and sometimes there's a permanent dementia induced by even one electroshock therapy. People are told that they have a mental illness and that uh, we have treatments for these mental illnesses. And then they are started on drugs that make them worse. Then they're told, your options are narrowing down. Well, we'll try something else. Instead of finding out how they're actually feeling without drugs, they go from one drug to the next. They are told their options are narrowing and narrowing and narrowing, and they are funneled right down to that cattle chute to the shock treatment machine. Psychiatrists told my husband that the best thing that he could do would give me something called electroconvulsive therapy. They straightjacketed me. They took me into this room and they shocked me. When they got through with me, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't read, I couldn't do anything. I didn't even know how to put my shoes on the right feet. I didn't know who my husband was, didn't know who my child was, didn't remember having a child. So basically what they did is they ruined my life. They totally raped my mind. I just hope I can explain to you that is the most devastating, brutal crime on humanity that could ever be in this world. And it needs to be stopped. So let's everybody, I don't care whether you're doctors, I don't care whether you're lawyers, I don't care whether you're shock survivors, band together for this one cause and stop abuse in this world.